hey guys welcome back to my channel today i decided to do a video differently um instead of a voiceover i am going to be chit chatting with you guys um and for today's look i'm going to be using the kat von d 10 year anniversary collection so first for my eyebrows i am going to be using her dip brow um if it looks kind of weird guys don't judge me. I don't typically use um, dip brows. I always use powders. Um, if I do look to the side, it's because I have my mirror right here on the side. Um, but yeah, I'm just barely putting my brush in there. Just getting a little bit of product because I'm new to this and I do not want to mess this up. to be back home trying to get on track and filming videos for you guys and uploading stuff on my Instagram page um, I was in Charleston I drove over there me and my little girl um, for family stuff and then from Charleston we drove to Orlando Florida so, I enjoyed my time being there with my hubby and my baby did too and it's, it's hard, it's hard when he works um, out of town so much. Um, I don't know, let me tell you guys a little bit about me. I have three sisters, I am the oldest and my youngest one just turned um, 16 in April actually. We are pretty close. We have, you know, our arguments just like any other family, but we are pretty close. We... And I only have one child, which is my little girl. Yeah, she is my only daughter. Uh, it took me about seven years to get pregnant with her because I do have PCOS. For those of you that don't know, that's um, polycystic ovarian syndrome. But anyway, on to what we were doing. Um, my eyebrows don't look that great, but, you know, this is the first time that I am using the dip brow, so, you know, I do have, like, some weird patches there or whatever, but I don't want to add more product to them because I don't want it to look really harsh. So, yeah, the next thing I'm going to do is just clean them up with my concealer you guys know I'm using the little mini Kat Von D concealer. Oh, and to blend out the concealer, I'm using the Wet n Wild P25 brush. Um, this is actually a contour brush, I think, for like your nose. But I really like it for the, um, the concealer. I just feel like it blends it out really good. I have been married for, actually May 23rd, I'll be married for eight years. Yeah, and I've known my husband for, um, in December, we'll go for, we'll have 11 years of knowing each other. We met in 2007 when I graduated high school in December. Okay, so I'm going to add concealer to my eyes, and then we'll get into the eyeshadow palette, which I am going to be using the... For my transition shade, I think I'm going to go in with this pinky peachy color right here. This one right here. I'm just going to add that as my transition shade and I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild P20 brush. I'm 
siento que no estoy pensando en ti. So next, I am going to go in with this um, brick color, this red color right here. And I'm just going to put that on my crease. And we're just going to add that in my crease area. I'm going to go in with this brown color right here and I'm just going to deepen my outer V a little bit and that color is Adele. I'm just bringing it up making sure that I don't go all the way to my inner corner I just bring it like halfway halfway up and for my eyelid all over the lid I'm going to be using I'm tempted to use this purple actually but guys I don't care <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do it and I'm just using um, a MAC brush prematurely um, and she has um, chronic lung disease so we have to keep an eye on her she has to take oh I'm sorry she has to take an inhaler make sure she's breathing right then just to blend out um, my waterline, I am going to go in with the color Adele and just blend that out, smoke it out a little bit just so it doesn't look so harsh. So I'm just going to shake up my foundation and I am going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Um, it doesn't leave my skin like too matte. Understand what I'm saying. And on my foundation, I like using the Tarte Kabuki brush, and it's the smaller, dense one that they have. And I just feel like with this foundation and this brush, it blends it out like really, really good, and it leaves it looking like airbrushed, kind of. So I'm sorry about the lighting if it constantly changing if I get dark if it gets lighter it's just I haven't really invested in anything right now um, and set my foundation with my Kat Von D translucent powder you guys know the deal with that you know that I love this this is my holy grail my go-to I'm just I'm baking and I'm also using this as um my concealer just to brighten it up. I know that sounds weird, but I don't ever use um, actual concealer. Only like when I really want to go like glam, like glam, glam, glammed out to the max. So for bronzer, I'm gonna be using my Hula bronzer. Again, this is another go-to for me. I love this bronzer. And I'm actually hitting pan on this one, which I am thankful for. And with this, don't get too heavy handed because it is pretty pigmented, as you can see. I don't know if my camera's focusing or not. There you go. But it is pretty pigmented. I'm just gonna go in with this little powder brush. Isn't that so cute? I actually picked these up with um, two other, three other little brushes. 
Yeah, Forever 21. I'm just gonna brush off all this powder. I think I have to moisturize my face tonight before I go to sleep because I can see a lot of dry patches everywhere. So I just have to make sure that my face is moisturized. So now for blush, I got it's darker than your ordinary blush. You can see right there. And it's by Steve Laurent. And this is the color I'm blushing. So I'm just going to use this. And I'm going to be using the SL Miss Glam SL41 brush. And this is the blush brush. And it also came in the Ips. Just because these are really pretty. Like, who wouldn't want these brushes? And I think I went pretty heavy handed with the blush, so be careful if you guys do have this or if you guys decide to pick it up. Um, it is really pigmented and I look a hot mess now because I used a lot. So now it looks like I'm blushing for no fucking reason. <laughs> oh my goodness. It so for my highlight, I'm going to be using Lunch Money by ColourPop. And you guys know that I love this highlighter. Well, I'm going to be using my Anastasia highlighting brush. And this is the A23. I'm just going to dip that there. Do you guys see that? It actually blends out better with your finger but I like to add it on with the brush first and then just blend it out with my finger and I'm not gonna leave it like that guys so don't trip okay, I'm gonna blend and I'm just gonna take my finger and I'm gonna add it to the tip of my nose guys so for the inner corner of my eyes I used Cherry's Jubilee by um, Colourpop and that's I think my the My Little Pony collection yeah and this is what it looks like here and I just added that into the inner corner of my eyes um, for my lips I went in with the Kat Von D um, liquid lipstick in Lolita and I know I was supposed to use um, her 10 year anniversary collection, the lips and the highlighter, but I don't know what happened. I went straight for lunch money. That has to tell you something, that's how much I love it, I'm sorry. But I'll probably use those two other items that I didn't use in this video, in another video. So yeah. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and add my eyelashes and I'm If you guys do decide to go to um, Ariana's page Ariana's lashes page on Instagram and you decide to purchase from her page you can use my discount code it's Sonia23. So you can use Sonia23 at the checkout and it'll give you a discount. And I love these lashes, guys. Like, they're so pretty. And this is the final look, you guys. So I hope you guys like this look. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.